Right now, more than 200 mayors from across this country are here in Washington for the United States Conference of Mayors, their annual winter meeting. One of this year's top themes can be found pinned to the top of the U.S. Mayor's Twitter page reading, Don't look to Washington, mayors are on the front lines of today's battles. One of those battles kicked off this week when several prominent mayors canceled a meeting with the president over the Justice Department's ramped up threats against sanctuary cities. MSNBC's Garrett Haig, a two for today. We got him twice back now. Garrett, give us a sense of what some of the mayors that you had a chance to visit with had to say about this unique time in relations between America's mayors and the president of the United States. Well, Peter, we put together a bipartisan group of mayors, and I was struck by how much they stuck together in what seems like the face of an administration that doesn't appreciate them or can be openly hostile at times to America's cities. And I started out by asking Atlanta's new mayor to react to this announcement from the White House earlier that day. It's especially concerning when the federal government's treating cities as if they are enemies of the state, mm -hmm. if you will. People are really looking to local leadership for stability because we don't have any stability at the national level. Give me a sense of how Washington is, is helping what you're trying to do in your cities and how is it hurting? I think for what we see is really Washington being non-existent to being harmful. So the problem with Washington is, is that we can't count on them. We have no ability to predict and plan for the future because right now nobody seems to know what the heck's going on. It's hard to partner with an administration when you don't know necessarily what they're for. There's any consistency to where they may be on any given day. It's also, you know, in, in my view, not very conservative to have agencies that aren't functioning or appointments that have not been made or employees that aren't at work. The president and our leaders at a national level really should look to us locally because we do have our pulse on what our issues are. All right, so if the president came to you tomorrow and said, Keisha, I need some advice. Get off of Twitter. That would be my first piece of advice to him. Too. There's some bipartisan agreement at the table on this yeah. issue. Stop He's tweeting. not helping himself at all. Yeah, he doesn't feel like Sly. <laughs> but I would also say, listen to us. I had a chance to meet Vice President Biden a few years ago, and he said, I, this is when I was on city council, and he said, I used to be on city council, and it was harder than being vice president. And I said, really, why? He said, because everybody knows where you live. Exactly. And it's true. But I would also tell the president, you need to stop trying to choke us off and start realizing that local government is the best working, most functional form of government that exists right now. And we're the ones innovating. We still have to deliver high quality services every single day. Don't plow the snow and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Don't pick up the trash for a day. How many calls do you right. get? Could a mayor be president next? Sure. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I think a mayor being president would be really good for the country. I agree. I think it would be very frustrating for the mayor that becomes president oh, because yeah. we move very quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the thing that surprises us and, you know, mayors that have gone to Congress mm -hmm. usually uh, want to quit that job because everything moves so slowly and nothing happens.